Good morning from sunny Michigan, everybody. John here with Sergeant Reg. Thanks for joining me. Um, as you can see through my uh, my sunroof here, or, well, I wouldn't even really call it a sunroof. It is a dreary day here in Michigan. It is cold out. There's some sort of uh, precipitation falling from the sky. It doesn't quite look frozen, but regardless, that could change at any minute here in Michigan. But um, what I am doing is I had someone reach out to me last night that they had a small collection of vintage toys. So I'm going to go check out and see what they have. It's not too far from us, so I figured I'd just drive out there and check it out. Um, so we're going to go check this collection out. I've said in the last like 30 seconds, collection, 10 times. We're going to go look and see what they have. All right, guys. So here we go. Here's the collection I just picked up. Like I said, it's not a really huge collection, but um, it's still pretty neat. And uh, I was really close by, so it was worth going and grab. So uh, let's go through this and see what we have. And so let's take a look here and see what we got. All right, so first up, um, we have this uh, vintage wooden Snoopy gas truck. So this thing's pretty cool. This is from 1958, um, Aviva Toy Company, as you can see there. But this features uh, Snoopy driving a gas truck. So pretty neat little piece. Um, looks like he's probably missing some sort of sticker on the front there, but otherwise in, in pretty decent shape. All right, next up we have this nylon um, farm truck and some animals so we have the trailer for it and I'm not sure what year this one is from let's see if I can find a date on it but um, pretty nice it's in good shape there's not a lot of scratches on this thing which is always a good thing with these uh, press metal trucks stickers pretty decent uh, you can see there's a little bit of a, a peel right there but I guess some people don't like that they, they don't find it appealing <laughs> Ah, <laughs> God, that was a horrible joke. And another one there where it's just kind of peeled back a little bit. But the truck's in... Other, otherwise, it's in pretty nice shape. I mean, you have some paint loss and, and stuff. That's to be expected with these. Um, but, yeah. And then, last but not least, we have the animals and everything that go with this. I'm assuming these are for this nylon. They're um, little plastic animals. We have uh, Mr. Cow... Or is that a sheep? That's a cow. And here's another cow. I don't see any markings on these, so I don't know if these are just something that they had that they used with this or if this is actually part of this set. So if you know, let me know. Looks like we have Lassie there. We have a little sheep. A little ram there. little calf and a goat we have meow meow the cat that looks like it's newer than the rest of those it doesn't look like it's the same sort of uh, material or build and then we have the farmer here now that cat looks like it goes with that collection that other one looks like it's a newer figure we have like the farmer's daughter. We have Mrs. Farmer, the bull cut. We have the farmer's kid there, a little boy. And last but not least, in here we have a duck and a little baby, what's it, a sheep? All right, guys, so that's the, the nylon truck there, the farmer truck. All right, so let's go through the McDonald's toys. As you can see there's a big tote of these, and it's not all um, just Happy Meal toys. She said there's some other, um, like, McDonald's memorabilia and stuff in there. And I normally don't do the McDonald's toys. It's not something I normally buy. Um, but they did have some of the ones that are, are, are cooler ones, like these Batman the Animated Series ones and a lot of the uh, character ones that I like. And that tend to sell a little bit, bit better. They're not like the generic ones. So let's go through this. I haven't gone through this yet. I just, she had the bin and it's a pretty good price. So I ended up picking it up. All right. So we have the Cabbage Patch Kid ones. These have dates on all of them. I don't want to try to. So that's 1992. And what I'll probably do with these is, is most of them, if they're all in here, if they're complete sets, like all the figures from that line, I'll just sell them as a group. So we have Batman the Animated Series. Oh, this is cool. Uh, is this McDonald's? Yeah. 
Sears McDonald's, 1986. Um, that's Fievel from An American Tale. A little suction cup stocking hanger. That's pretty cool. And we have another one. Just missed those for Christmas. So those are pretty neat. I don't know when McDonald's and Sears have teamed up um, on that unless... Yeah, I don't know. It's not like Bible Goes West or uh, American Tale were a Sears movie, I don't believe. So we have some more Batman animated series. We have Catwoman. And the Joker. I'm going to get a vehicle like this, I think. I mean, I want a vehicle that has my head on the front and I will drive it around. I mean, that's just, you know you're a supervillain when you're driving a car with your face on it. Can you imagine that being behind you at a red light? I take off. I wouldn't even sit around. I'm like, yeah, now I'm out. We got Two-Face here. So normally these have, what, five or six different figures? Does it say on here? And I collect all eight. So there's four of the eight of the Batman series. Hopefully the other ones are in here. Uh, there's a duplicate of that Batman. There's Batgirl. I'm trying to find another Batman one, but we'll just go with what we have here. So we have uh, Tiny Toons. That's Taz. There's another Tiny Toon. Plucky Duck. Go Go Dodo, probably one of the cooler characters on uh, Tiny Toons. They're all cool, don't get me wrong, but... Oh, this is old, how old is this thing? This one is from... 91, just looks old, it's not old. Well, it's old, but you got McDonald, or Ronald there flying in a uh, United Airplane. Cool, who remembers this guy? Who remembers Mac tonight? He was uh, one of McDonald's advertising mascots for a while. This has to be from the, shoot, yeah, 88. So there he is driving in a Jeep. Now, I know I've had some of those, and those sell pretty well. A lot of people remember the uh, the iconicness of the giant singing moon. Linkable, so this is Hamburglar in an airplane, 93. Those look like they all link up like a train or something like that. Oh, here's a Carnival Happy Meal Grimace. Oh, well, that one was open, but looks like we have a... Um... Yeah. A little Happy Meal... Uh... What's it say on here? Happy Birthday Happy Meal. The Happy Meal guys. Remember the Fry Guys and Grimace and all them? I don't remember the Happy Meal having its own character, but I guess it did. There's Babs. Some Looney Tunes. Um, this is just like a generic pair of McDonald's sunglasses, I guess. Not so exciting. Alright, so here's um, the American uh, Tale. Let's say why it was like a team up on here. No? You can get a Sears coupon for $5 inside. That's pretty neat. That one's not open. Uh, McDonald's Super Summer. This is like a McDonald's inflatable ball or something, probably. Here's a Happy happy Meal, Happy Birthday, Berenstein Bears. Now, some of these look like they've been opened, but I guess they just saved the bags. I don't know. Uh, Fisher Price. McDonald's. That's probably one of the more boring ones. Here's a Aladdin. We got a Abu. Oliver and Company. And oh, Muppet Babies. Here's Miss Piggy and Kermie. So they brought back Muppet Babies. I know that because my kids watch it and they like it. I like the old theme song better. I don't know if it's just because I'm used to it, but it's almost the same, but it's a little bit different. Another Cabbage Patch Kid. There's another Mac tonight. 
driving some kind of weird airplane car thing. Um, here's a Hot Wheels one. Happy birthday, Hot Wheels. So what do you guys think about McDonald's toys? I know they're kind of cheesy for the most part. And again, like I said, I know there's some that have a little bit more value. But for the most part, most of them are pretty uh, inexpensive. So, But they're still neat. A lot of them have iconic characters uh, from TV shows and a lot of nostalgia. Um, like Muppet Babies, Looney Tunes, or Tiny Tunes, all that stuff. It's just, I like them. So here we have another one. We got Babs and uh, Buster. They must have bought this one somewhere. It has a price tag on it. There's another inflatable. Think about how many Happy Meals one would have to eat, or at least purchase, to get all this. It's crazy. Totally Toy Holiday Happy Meal. Magic Nursery. I don't even know what's in there. Feels like maybe a doll. It's like plush arms and legs and a, a head, but I don't know what it is. Oh, okay. Magic Nursery. Is it a boy or a girl? It's supposed to be a uh, mystery. There's a fun flyer inflatable. Another inflatable. There's a early, early bird. Or birdie the early bird. And a carnival ride. It's another magic nursery. Can't tell. Is it a boy or girl? I don't know. Uh, bubble shoe wand. Turbo Max. Get the Hamburglar in there. So if you guys haven't seen yet, we purchased a um, McDonald Land Playground. It has the like the Officer Big Mac with the jail cage. It has the Grimace thing and then the slide as well as um, what is it? The fish fish fillet like little rocking horse. So that's just a uh, Looney Tunes happy birthday. There's a 101 Dalmatians happy birthday. So I don't know if they're like just doing different anniversary things or I have no idea what this happy birthday uh happy birthday is. Maybe it's the birthday of the Happy Meal, so they just had a bunch of different things. I have no idea. Here's an ET one. It's another one of those happy birthday ones. I'm curious to know what the most expensive Happy Meal toy is. I haven't looked it up. Um, I'm kind of curious. I might go look and try to figure that out. Here's another um, Oliver and Company. I can't say I ever remember seeing this show. I'm sure I did at some point, but I don't remember it. Um, whoop. Hit the tripod. So there's a Barbie, like, ball. My favorite ones of these are the ones that are, like, from these older cartoons. From when I was younger. Like the Looney Tunes, Tiny Tunes, and all that stuff. I know I had those Batman ones when I was a kid. I mean, I guess... Eh. Cabbage Patch Kids. I was going to say maybe I wasn't a kid, but I probably was still consider myself a kid back then. Another Oliver and Company. Now that one says... Collect all four. So I think we've probably seen all four of those. So that's probably a complete set of those guys. This is not a Happy Meal toy. So we have a complete set, hopefully, of Garfield cards. Was it $15? Or was it $3? I don't think I'd pay $15 for it, so... They probably bought it for $3. Just a bunch of randomness. This one's, uh... Like another Fisher Price one. Here we have some Snow White and the Seven Drawers Happy Meals. This one's from 92. So it looks like some of the stuff goes back to the 80s and some of it's from the uh, early 90s. I think the newest one I've seen was that 94 one or 92 one. I don't know what that's supposed to be. These Fisher Price ones are kind of boring. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if they had special ones just for younger kids that they would put in there or not. There's Garfield. 19... Whoa. Okay, 1980. I was say it's a 1978 there. I was like, wow, that's, that's pretty old. I don't know when Happy Meals came out, but this one's from 1988, so. That's cool. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic the Hedgehog uh, ball. Here's a very, very uncomfortable looking Spider-Man. 
Looks like he's gonna let me out of the bag. I'm barely fit. Come on, guys. Well, I don't know if this must be the last Oliver and Company, because I don't think we've seen the, this cat yet. So we do have all four of those, which is neat. So like I said, I'll probably end up doing these in lots of, you know, here's all the Happy Meal um, Oliver and Companies or whatnot. Just because, like I said, they're not super valuable. But they are neat, and they are uh, a little nostalgia here. A little nostalgia factor. Sometimes it's not all about the price of the item. It's about, you know, having it bring you back in time to when you were younger. Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, hold on. So this is five. So maybe this was the fifth year anniversary of Sonic the Hedgehog, 1994. It's probably around... Probably about right. All right, let me see what the next one... That says happy birthday and see if it's uh, if that's what it is. So here's a 92 Snow White and Seven Dwarves. What is this guy? Oh, it's a Fry Guy. Little Darling. This one is from 89. So I know they're hard to see some of these through the bags, guys. But I don't want to open them. Because I know if it was me buying these... I'd want them still in the packaging and open them myself. That was a lot of the feedback I got from the one video I did where I was talking about, do you open these ones that are damaged packaging or do you leave them? And, you know, it made a lot of people made sense. Like, if I'm going to buy it, I want to be the one to open it. So that is what's going to happen with those. I'm going to actually probably do a video trying to clean some of those up and see how they do. Winnie, Winnie the Pooh here. There's another Fisher-Price one. Another Cabbage Patch Kid. Congratulations on your new arrival. This is Jennifer Lauren. Fun on ice. There's another Fisher Price. Fisher Price one. I know there's some Fisher Price collectors out there. Um, it's a Nature Viewer Happy Meal. Just, just put like a bug in there and look at that. I have no idea what that's supposed to be. Another Fisher Price. Those, like I said, I mean, eh, kind of generic, kind of lame. In my opinion, in my opinion. So here's a Fisher Price one with a uh, birdie. The early bird. Where are these ones from? Let's see here. 1996. So 96 is the newest one in here. Our Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. It's Prince Charming, right? Prince with Horse. I know I've seen Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, but I, yeah, it's been forever. I know Snow White, and I know there's dwarves. Like Stinky and Doty and Doopy. What's his name? Dopey? Doc? It's Snow White and the Wishing Well. There's old Snow White and her wishing well. I'm wishing her well. Uh, another Snow White. This one here is Sleepy. Hopefully that's not you while watching me go through Happy Meal Toys. Even though the Batman animated series, that is the third one of those. A duplicate of him. And the Poison Ivy, that probably makes eight. Because we did have the Riddler... Um, and Batgirl, and that one, so. Okay, here's a cool Fisher Price one. Everybody had one of these. The phone. The one you pull behind. I can't remember what, what's it called. Just a pull behind happy phone with a face. I don't know. So the Tiny Tunes one here. We have Sweetie. And we're almost through with these Happy Meal toys. And there's a couple other things in here, too, that are buried underneath the Happy Meal toys. Like I said, I didn't go through this. I thought it was just Happy Meal toys, so... I'm gonna pull this out. Huh. I wonder if this was from the display or something. So it's a, uh, a bunch of Mac Tonight buttons. Like pinbacks. I doubt you'd get them all. Yeah, like they have the codes on them there. So I wonder if this was like someone that worked at McDonald's maybe and they saved this from a display. I don't know. That doesn't look like... Um how you would buy those individually, I would imagine. So you got another Snow White. You got Happy and Grumpy. Okay, guess which one is Happy and guess which one is Grumpy. Can you tell? All right. Um, 
There's the old Hamburglar. I wish there were some of those McDonald's, um, I'm looking at this tote, I don't see any, cause it's almost to the bottom, but the old, uh, Halloween pails. Here's another one of those magic nurseries. Is it a boy? Is it a girl? Happy birthday, Ronald McDonald. No, I guess that one number is just, like, the number of the character, because McDonald has been around for a lot longer than one year. We have, uh, Dopey and Heidi. I don't know his name. It's a doc. Um, here's a McDonald tic-tac-toe thing. So I found, actually, this thing, this, this piece here, with, uh, at the toy house, at the 80s toy house. Not this one, obviously. But I did not find that yellow plate. But now I know that, that yellow plate goes to this. So, there's another yellow plate in here. And there are a bunch of loose um, tic-tac-toes. And I think the one that I found at the 80s house is still on the, the thing. So I'll probably put that one with that other plate instead of the, all these loose ones. So that's neat. We have a clock here. Fisher Price. Um, I actually took my kid today, my son, on the way home from uh, school. He had a half day today to McDonald's, and he had a uh, Happy Meal, obviously. Because what little seven-year-old doesn't want a Happy Meal when he gets a half day and gets to go hang out with Dad? And he got a Hungry Hungry Hippo uh, toy with it, like a little miniature Hungry Hungry Hippo. So here's a cart full of diamonds, it would appear. Bashful. I don't see a dwarf. It's just his card, I guess, unless he's hiding underneath all the diamonds. Um, Ronald McDonald. This must be a Halloween one. Their Halloween ones are pretty cool. Except for, I think Burger King had the Simpsons Halloween ones. Those ones are the coolest. Here's Robin. Batman the Animated Series is probably one of the best cartoons I remember watching. Not the best. But uh, one of the cooler shows. Got a little Cabbage Patch doll there. Here's Buster, right? Buster Bunny from uh, Tiny Toons. Uh, Garfield here. Another Garfield. This is Garfield on a skateboard. Kind of hard to see him in there. This is one of the older ones from like the 80s. Uh, the plastic's starting to get a little foggy. Another Garfield one here. Let's see. There's Garfield. That's what he's supposed to look like. So a lot of these, like I said, I'll do them in lots. And the ones that are just kind of generic, I'll probably just put them in a bin at the shop. Um, you know, for a buck or whatever. And there's Montana Max. Monty! Uh, another Fisher Price thing. And one more Happy Meal toy, and there's a couple other things in here. So, and the last Happy Meal one is the best one. Or not. It's a Fisher Price boombox. So, cool. Alright, let's see what else we have in here. It looks like there's some other uh, odds and ends inside this tote. We have um, an old McDonald's jukebox pin. Trying to make it show up. Um, here's another one. It's a Scrabble game pin from McDonald's. Uh, suction cup looks like it goes for those. So we have some McDonald's plates here. 1989. Nugget band. Milkshake Lake and French Fry Garden. So you got the fry guys in there and everything. So those are all from like the 80s. So let me know what you think in the comments, guys. Uh, what was your favorite Happy Meal toy that you remember as a kid? And let me know, do you enjoy these kind of videos? I know it's kind of eclectic. We'll go from coins to dolls to, you know, superheroes to Cabbage Patch Kids to whatever. But I want to have a little bit of something for everybody. Just like in the shop, I want the channel to have stuff that everyone can kind of enjoy. And maybe even just learn stuff. Like maybe you see one of these that you didn't really collect them or, or whatever. Or you just remember them after seeing them, you know. If I can jog some memories, uh, that's what we're here for, you know. Wow, this thing is 
An old McDonald's bib from 1993. It even has a little pocket to catch the uh, the food there. Wow. Okay, these are older. These are from 1976. It looks like it's um it's an iron-on patch of Mayor McCheese. That is cool. Let's say 76. Yeah, 1976. There's a Ronald McDonald one. Iron on patch. All right, the farther down we go, we get some cooler stuff. Um, when I get a Big Mac attack, I go to McDonald's. Wow, that must be pretty old. I've never seen that before. But that looks like it's pretty old. I'll have to look that up. If anyone knows, it looks like it's some kind of coaster. But I don't see a date on it. And these two are from the six or 76. So there is some older stuff in here. Um, official Rand McNally map of the moon. careful opening this thing. Let me just get this unfurled over here. Give me one second, then I'll share it with you guys. This looks like it says copyright 1969. So when I visited, this is where I stayed over here. That's pretty cool. Then on the other side we have the solar system. Map of outer space. Pluto is still a planet. So that's cool. It's pretty old there, 69. I know McDonald's. When do they start? I'm going to guess. The, what, sometimes in the, was it the 50s? Oh, wait, is this what it is? <laughs> I've wanted one of these for the longest time. I'm so glad this was in here. So this is the menu song. If you guys remember, there was a commercial back in the day. And, and uh, what was this from? This had to have been from 88. So this was from the 80s. Basically, you'd play this record. That's a record. And um, you'd win a million bucks. If they sang the song correctly. So you'd play this and the song went. And I, I actually remember this still. And this is like in my head. So it was Big Mac, Big Mac DLT, a quarter pounder with some cheese filet, a fish, a hamburger, a cheeseburger, a Happy Meal with nuggets, tasty golden fries, regular or larger size of salad, Shepherd Gardener, a chicken salad or animal. And that's where I always forget it. But somehow that, that jingle stuck in my head since 1988. We always, I remember getting these and playing them, so... Oh, I hope one of the record players I have works because I wonder if this was still a winner. Would they? They probably wouldn't give it to me. Like, hey, I got it. You guys sang the song all the way. So here is a uh, Cosmat Crayola. I cannot believe I remember that song. <laughs> oh Lord, the thing my brain my brain needs to purge some knowledge. 1981 uh, bookmark. It looks like bookmark slash ruler probably. All right, we found some of these in the, the '80s house, but here's a couple more. I don't know. If, I don't think it was this one. I know we found a couple of these kind of like old McDonald's calendars. Oh, what's that? They have He-Man in it. You got Masters of the Universe. Well, they had coupons in here. You could go get stuff. That's cool. Dazzle, Barbie, Hot Wheels, Monchi Cheese, Tippy Toes. That's cool. I have a couple more of these in here. Oh, there is some McDonald's Halloween stuff in here. Not the buckets that I was talking about earlier, but um, there's some bags. But we have a couple more of these calendars. 1994. Now, I know we found this exact same one, I think. It had that same picture on it because it had the secret solver at the 80s house. So that's a 1979 one. Here's a 1980 McDonald's coloring calendar. So like I said, some of this stuff, I mean, it's just cool, you know? When this was, I was three years old when this thing came out. 1981 coloring calendar. And I don't think they still do coloring calendars. What was that one? It was like 90-something. Oh, shoot, that was probably one of the last years they did it. I can't imagine they went much farther. But then again, didn't really go to McDonald's all that much when I was uh in the 90s. I know you probably... See me and be like, wow, that dude goes to McDonald's all the time. All right, so here's some of the uh, McDonald's, like, trick-or-treat totes. I don't remember these ones. So that one, that's cool. You got the Frankenstein, and on the other side, you got his back. I'm not sure what year these are from. The ones I remember were the ones where they were, like, the, the witch, the ghost, and the pumpkin buckets that your Happy Meal actually came in. These look like ones that you would probably buy separately, maybe. 
Those are cute. You got the uh, front and back sides. I'll have to look those up to figure out where they're from. They're kind of like a vinyl material. They're not, they're not really thin plastic. They're kind of vinyl. So. The Witch. Uh, maybe it's in the... Yeah, here we go. All right. Um, 1990. So. And one more thing left in here, guys. And I do not know what it is. This doesn't look like it has anything to do with McDonald's. B. Siegel Company Children's Souvenir. I'm gonna... Let's look and see what this is. Little Children of Detroit and Michigan. Visit from Santa. Looks like it's just a little storybook. Yeah, that's all a visit from Santa Claus. That page is popped free. The Fate of the China Fairy. So yeah, it looks like a little storybook. Betty's Mermaid. When is this from? I don't see a date on this thing. It looks older. Yeah, there's not a page that has a date on it that I see. Oh, wait, maybe it's somewhere on this back page. Yeah, no clue. I'll have to look that up. If anybody knows uh, what that is or when that's from, let me know. But it's uh, B. Siegel Company's Children's Souvenir. So maybe they gave that out when you went to the department store. I'm not sure. So, anyways, guys, that is that for the McDonald's and others. Mostly McDonald's. Like 99% is McDonald's, and then there's a, a little bit of other stuff, but... Like I said, guys, if you're enjoying the content, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, notification bell, and uh, share the videos. And we'll catch you next time.